Good evening. I'm Mark Waste, the Senior Vice President for Student Affairs here at NYU. And I am so glad to be with all of you here tonight on behalf of the university and representing President Andrew Hamilton. Many of us felt a keen personal stake in the outcome of this election. No doubt that is particularly true for those who are the objects of the campaign's most egregious rhetoric. Now, still less than 48 hours since the end of the presidential election, we, find, we need to find our way forward together. For us here at NYU, that means three things. First, remembering that the outcome of a presidential election does not change NYU's values, such as academic excellence, diversity and inclusion, and open discussion with an accompanying respect for facts, reason, and civil discourse. Second, modeling the kind of behavior as we carry on debate about the issues of the day that we so hope would be displayed during the campaign and that we hope will be displayed in the presidency to come. And third, remembering that however much division may have been used in the external discourse, we remain united as a scholarly community and we should extend a hand to one another, commit ourselves to the process of healing, and always stand by our ideas and values. Now I know some of you have heard about events that have happened at Tandon since the election on Tuesday, ranging from the word Trump being written in, with an exclamation point on the door of the Muslim prayer room in Brooklyn, as well as a student wearing a Trump t-shirt being assaulted and being hit over the head with a purse. Katapali Srinivasi, the Dean of Tandon, wrote to the Tandon community to express his concern about what seems pretty clearly to be an attempt by some to intimidate others and to remind everyone of the school's standards for discourse. He wrote, and I quote, we as a community we're all different, with different sensitivities, and I think it is utterly reasonable to expect that civility and mutual respect will form the core of our collective and individual behaviors. And any time anyone violates this norm, it is an offense against us all." Unquote. I know that President Hamilton fully supports and embraces the message that Srini sent to the Tandon community. More than that, he wants me to make sure that all of you know that we are here to support you and to protect you. We are committed to your safety and your well-being. In the face of this challenge, it is important to present a united front. That is why I am so proud to be among you here tonight, along with other members of the university administration, including the university's provost, uh, vice chancellor, how many other administrators are here? Please raise your hand. Sitting down as well as serving as ushers. Also, members of the staff and the faculty join with you tonight. I know that the good thoughts and support of the entire NYU community with all of us here tonight. Thank you.